It's got to be a lean, man. That is going to be a delicious, delicious fish. Alrighty, what is going on? It is me again. Back here with Angling Attics Pacific Northwest. We are out on the Oregon coast again today. See, we've got the South Jetty back over there behind us. We today are on the North Jetty. And I gotta say, it is uh, pretty friggin' rough out here. But we're gonna try and get on some uh, rockfish, whether it's some black rockfish, uh, some lean cod. I would prefer lean cod over uh, anything right now. Try and get that first lean cod uh, of the season. So I've got a few different baits that I wanna try, but I'm gonna go back to my uh, tried and true, which really seems to work specifically like when it's really rough out here and you're wanting to stay down on the bottom and be able to run through rocks without snagging up so much. And it is the Carolina rig or uh, the weedless rig. Uh, I've got a couple of videos that I'm kind of covering this and how to get it set up. It's actually probably one of my favorite setups because I seem to lose the least amount of gear when I'm using this setup. And what's really nice about it Obviously we've got a, uh, today I'm using a one ounce sinker weight on there. But my favorite thing about this as well is that there's no hook exposed for those of you who are uh, not familiar with this. But once a fish bites down on it, it exposes that hook that's right underneath there and you can get a good hook set. So it makes it a little bit easier to uh, run over some rocks and the vegetation and all that without uh, getting caught up and snagging. And then again, once they get that bite, it just pushes down enough that exposes that hook. I'm gonna be using my 12 foot Okuma Rockaway paired up with the uh, Okuma Rockaway 6000 uh, reel on there. And I've got 40 pound uh, braid on there, which is uh, made by Soft Steel. Let's get out there and see if we can't find some fish today. got our, our first fish on here. Oh, look at that. That's a nice rock fish. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Woo. All right. Those are our first rock fish on that friggin black and black and blue sparkle yeah, that is a nice nice fish all right fish number one it's a uh, not a bad size uh, black rock fish right there sweet all right let's keep keep going at it oh yeah i tighten the drag for this one God, that's got to be a link odd. No, it's just going to be a really good rockfish. Holy crap. My goodness. Man, I gotta try and get down here a little bit too. 
that. Oh god. Ooh, that has got to be a lean, man. That, I've never had my rod bent <laughs> so much trying to get a fish in. Oh, that's a lean. That is a lean. Oh. Oh man, we're gonna get wet. Damn. 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 Come on, baby. Get over here. Get over here. Jeez, Louise. Come on, baby. Oh. Scoot up. Oh, there he is. Oh my God, get over here. I'm trying to not just get pounded here. Oh my goodness, that's a keeper for sure. Now we just gotta get out of here. Oh, that is jetty fishing. That is jetty fishing. Let's go, baby. Oh, that is a keeper. Whew. Like walking around on all these wet friggin' rocks. Oh, man. Wow. All right. All right, well, this fella is not a complete monster, but... 20, 24 inches. Boom. 24. Oh. I was really hoping to get a lean caught. I really hate, not really hate, you can't really com complain about uh, catching fish, but I hate when I come out to a target lean caught and I end up just uh, catching nothing but maybe green leans and some black rock fish or whatever. But to uh, be able to come out here, that's the first lean caught of the season for me. So I'm pretty stoked. He seems pretty stoked too, because he's busting a nut all over the place. <laughs> oh, good deal, good deal. Get a fish on. <laughs> Man, I God, that it's gonna be a huge concern when we uh, need to go down if we catch a fish. Ugh. Kelp green lean to the mix as well. This is a uh, sunshine. You can't see it in the sun. All right, there it is. Another. It's a nice fish. That is a nice fish. I think we will add this guy to our little uh, stack down here. All right. Always feels good to actually catch some fish. I'll get over here. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, what's it gonna be? It's probably one of my favorite things about this kind of fishing. You never know exactly what you're gonna have. That looks like another kelp greenly, no way. Oh, come here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there are some monster friggin' fish around today. That is probably 
up there with one of the uh, biggest kelp greenling I think I've ever caught. Look at that thing. Oh my God. What? What? What is up with that? You are a toad. You are a toad. Oh my God. Check that thing out. That is a nice, really nice size kelp greenling. That is gonna be a delicious, delicious fish. Wow, so cool. I think I'm just gonna keep fishing this rig until uh, either I lose it or it just stops producing fish. Ah, geez. All right, well, this is something I really wanted to be fishing with today, but I don't think I'm gonna be doing it out here on the jetty. These are by uh, some Fish Lab. You guys know, if you see me doing any rock fishing, I love my swim baits. And there's a bunch of these that are an ounce, ounce and a half. And uh, the bodies, the colors, everything about these, I haven't yet to fish with them, but uh, I was, again, I was really hoping today would be my first day getting out here. They got some pretty killer colors. Got that nice, pretty, sparkly pink, those blues. I don't really recall the name of these things uh, right at the moment, but uh, man, I definitely, when these things showed up, I was thinking how friggin' fishy these things looked nice heavy heads i know you can get out here and you can just use some uh, curly tail grubs and whatnot but i always like having things to kind of mix it up that one's pretty sexy what we got down here a little more transparent some black back these ones are cool i like that that green that green and the sparkle in there and lastly, uh, just one more of these blue ones. So hopefully when uh, in one of these next upcoming videos, we're gonna be out smashing some fish, but I do not want to uh, throw these out and uh, just contribute them to the ocean right now. So those things are gonna have to wait until we get to a, a less rocky area, but uh, yeah. Oh, that's a fish. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This man. Oh my god. There's another Jesus. This one's <laughs> pulling me off the friggin' rocks. Oh my god. That's gotta be a lean. Nothing else uh has <laughs> Kind of power to be pulling me off. Oh my jeez. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Come here, you. Especially why we've got a uh, decent uh, little break with these waves, maybe. Oh man. Come on, baby. Oh. Get over here. It's another wing. That is another wing. Oh, can we flip it? Can we flip it? Oh, that's Jeez. all right. Let's twenty three, man. I gotta say, it's really nice having a rod that you can flip a fish with and then a uh, having a reel that can handle that as well. There's a few times in some of my older uh, Lincod fishing videos where I'm using like a, a salmon steelhead setup 
And I got to a few points where I'm trying to pull these fish up a friggin' cliff and uh, my drag was maxed out and the rod was just ready to break. It's kind of nice having some stuff that uh, can actually handle it. Just doing a slow retrieve on this. Kind of depending on the area that I'm at, you know, I'll go, I'll retrieve it fast, I'll retrieve it slow. Uh, I'll give it some little pops. Just little things that uh, kind of change up the action. Plus I know we've got, a, this is just a, a minefield of uh, rocks out here in front of me for probably about 50 yards out. You really see it during a low tide. So a lot of times I know I'm kind of up on top of those rocks. So I'll give it like a little bit of a pop when I'm bringing it in so it bounces it off that rock and uh, drops it into those holes in between those rocks. And a lot of times I end up getting hit right there. You can tell you're on top of a rock with some vegetation, give it a little bounce and it'll drop down another couple feet and all of a sudden, boom, fish on. All right, well, this is where the uh, walk back becomes rather interesting. I didn't bring something uh, to really be holding these fish, so I've just got them clipped on to my bag right here. Got the lean cod on this side. Got the black rockfish and the uh, tube kelp, kelp green lean on that side. Oh, it's so awesome. All right, nasty fish. Oh. 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 All right, let's get out of here. I'm not gonna lie, I am absolutely smoked. You could have the most amazing, immaculate day out there on that North Jetty fishing, but I swear every single time I make this walk back to my car, I end up telling myself that I'm not gonna do this again, but I always find myself back out here doing it again. We're about to get into that wind, so there's a nice, beautiful shot the bridge back there in the bay. One of the worst parts of this walk is this grueling uphill. After being uh, doing all that walking, I always end up being super dehydrated. My last few steps are always the roughest. Oh, gonna make it. Oh, jeez. probably see. Oh my god. They're way out there. They're way the hell out on that jetty. That is insane. Oh god, and the stairs. Can't forget about topping off with the stairs. good news so we've made it back to the car as always thanks for watching you guys and join the adventure with me until next time what do i say best of luck to all of you and i hope to see you out on the water there she is there she is we've made it